$1,400 stimulus check will be in banks for all SSI SSDI VA. The federal government is moving ahead with plans to issue economic impact payments of $1,400 to millions of Americans who receive Social Security Retirement Benefits, Supplemental Security Income SSI, or Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI. These direct payments aim to provide crucial financial support for those on fixed incomes during a time of high inflation and lingering effects from the COVID-19 pandemic. All eligible recipients will receive the full $1,400 amount, with no income threshold to meet. The Social Security Administration, SSA, will use individuals' current benefit status on record to determine check eligibility. Those receiving Social Security Retirement, SSI, or SSDI payments as of a specific date in September 2024 will qualify. Spouses and dependents may also be included depending on benefits arrangements. Distribution of the stimulus checks is slated to begin in September 2024. The SSA will take the lead in overseeing the issuance of payments. Funds will be sent out through direct deposit, paper check, or prepaid debit card, depending on each recipient's established payment method with the agency. Those receiving their regular benefits via direct deposit will have stimulus payments deposited into the same bank account. Direct deposits are expected to represent the fastest delivery method, with electronic transfers beginning in the first week of September. The SSA will start issuing paper checks through the U.S. Postal Service mid-month. Checks may take one, two weeks to arrive via mail depending on each recipient's location. A small portion of recipients who encounter issues receiving electronic or paper payments may instead receive prepaid debit cards loaded with their stimulus funds. It is crucial for recipients to ensure their direct deposit or mailing address information listed with the SSA is up to date. Doing so helps avoid delays in receiving the crucial economic relief. Recipients are advised to log into their My Social Security online account or contact their local SSA field office to confirm and update any changed banking or contact details. Considering setting up direct deposit of benefits payments, if not already done, is also recommended to get stimulus funds as promptly as possible. Subscribing to reliable news sources for official announcements from the SSA, Department of Treasury, and Internal Revenue Service is important for staying informed on the stimulus timeline and distribution process. Regularly checking the SSA website at ssa.gov and IRS website at irs.gov provides the most accurate, up-to-date details. Following reputable agencies on social media can also help distribute notification of any changes or issues that may impact recipients. The key reasons behind Congress approving these additional stimulus checks include ongoing challenges faced due to record inflation, squeezing household budgets. The Consumer Price Index saw year-over-year -year increases of 8.2% in September 2024, with food, rent, utilities, and other necessities much higher. For those relying solely on fixed Social Security payments, SSI or SSDI benefits, inflation has seriously cut into purchasing power. Additional concerns include lingering effects on industries from the pandemic, as well as considerations in an election year to appeal to voter priorities. For SSI recipients, the stimulus funds will not reduce their monthly benefit amount or impact eligibility for other needs-based public assistance programs. However, the one-time payment may count as income when determining eligibility for Medicaid, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, and certain other low-income assistance. Details on specific program rules will need to be checked with respective state agencies. Those with questions not addressed on government websites can contact the SSA by phone at 1-800-772-1213 or visit a local field office. Field offices nationwide continue to serve the public, though in-person appointments are recommended for certain transactions. Phone representatives should be able to provide payment status information as distribution begins, address issues, or direct to other resources as needed. This round of stimulus checks aims to help tens of millions of retirees, elderly Americans, disabled individuals, veterans, and low-income households facing higher living costs due to inflation. While a one-time payment will not solve ongoing financial challenges, the direct relief is intended to offer some temporary budget flexibility to pay bills and buy essentials. Staying informed through trustworthy sources ensures eligible recipients receive the support in a timely manner. With the approaching distribution timeline, recipients are encouraged to review their information on file and take steps to avoid delays receiving this much-needed economic impact aid.
eligibility and distribution details. To receive a stimulus payment, individuals must meet the eligibility requirements based on their benefit status as of a specific date that will be set sometime in late 2024. This snapshot date allows the SSA to determine who should receive a check based on being enrolled in a qualifying program. Those currently receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSI or SSDI, will automatically receive a payment. Payments may also go out to certain family members of eligible recipients. For example, spouses or dependent children listed on a retirement or disability claim may qualify. However, the specific individuals included will depend on the type of benefits arrangement and SSA records. Adult children or student dependents above age 17 generally will not be eligible for their own separate payment. Though no income thresholds apply based on benefits amounts, income from other sources could impact stimulus check eligibility in some cases. Earned wages or self-employment income above certain thresholds during the 2023 tax year may disqualify an individual if they are considered to have substantial earnings. However, SSA will not count investment income, tax-exempt interest, life insurance proceeds, gifts, inheritances, or other passive non-employment sources when assessing substantial earning status. For those in nursing homes or other long-term care facilities, eligibility depends on who is deemed responsible for providing more than half of an individual's support. If Medicaid is paying for long-term care, that person will still qualify based on their benefit status. Families should be aware of any changes in living situations that could impact check eligibility or delivery method on file with SSA. Timing and delivery considerations. While direct deposits are slated to begin in early September 2024, there is always a possibility that unforeseen challenges could potentially delay portions of the distribution timeline. Recipients should prepare for some flexibility in the projected dates, especially for paper checks which rely more on external factors like mail delivery speed. Monitoring official updates from SSA is key. Depending on the volume of direct deposits and checks to process, the agency may phase issuance over several weeks to evenly spread out the workload. Paper checks may then take additional transit time once mailed based on a recipient's location. Those with international or APO-FPO military addresses have generally received checks later in prior distributions. There is no set deadline for when all payments must be received. However, recipients who have not gotten a deposit or check by October may want to check on status with SSA to avoid potential issues. Keep in mind field office staff may experience high call or visitor volume as the distribution period approaches, resulting in longer wait times. Online accounts and pre-recorded phone system options can help avoid delays where possible, tax implications, and impact. Unlike the third stimulus payments approved in 2021, these additional checks are not technically considered tax credits that must be reported on 2024 tax returns. However, they will still count as taxable income received that may potentially increase an individual's total income for the year. Higher annual income could have some limited impacts depending on other financial factors like adjusted gross income. For instance, it may affect eligibility for certain tax deductions, credits, or benefit programs that have maximum income thresholds. Recipients should consult a tax advisor if concerned a stimulus payment could push them over limits. 